in honor of throwback thursday which is you know always a thing i just thought i would do a planner throwback video and look in my first Erin Condren life planner and take a look back at when I first started down this journey of decorative planning. So if you want to do a video of planner throwback or post pictures, do, if you post pictures on Instagram, post them with the hashtag planner throwback. And you can even tag me, Lama Letters, if you think about it. And if you're going to do it on YouTube, call it planner throwback somewhere in your title and then Leave a link down in the description below to your video so I can go see your planner throwback. This is my first Erin Condren Life Planner. It was a 20, 2014, 2015 question mark? Yeah, 2014, 2015, uh, 18 month planner. It was the first one I had bought and this was not the cover I had on it originally though. I think this is my second cover, but you can see that I did do a bunch of decorating because of how fat it got. I've used planners before, but I had not tried the decorative planning yet. And I remember joining We Love EC, seeing the spreads that people posted and being really interested. And so I thought, you know, I want to try. So I went and bought a whole bunch of Michael's stickers before I even was able to get my first planner. As you can see, I went kind of crazy with the Michael's stickers, trying different colors at the time. I had grabbed a punch, it looks like, cut out like squares with this is like scrapbook paper, so I must have used a glue stick to stick it down. I used the Erin Condren stickers. I used washi, but I didn't actually cut it nicely. Huh. Must have made my own banners, so it's weird feeling here. Anyway, my homemade hydrate stickers. This was my very first decorative layout ever. And you get into August of that same year, and you can already see that my habit of going on hiatus from decorating my planner when I get sick or when I go on vacation, that habit still holds. <laughs> this was not, this is not at all like lessened as time has gone on. P.S. If you're wondering about the whole crazy light, it's because I didn't want to get all my studio lights going and heat the house up. So this is natural light and it is intense right now. Here's the first time I found the planner that I've really tried lettering out in here. There's some here with snuggle time and there's some here with date night. I hadn't done it very much yet though. Part of me is loving kind of how helter skelter this looks. And I love this right here. I think Gen Do 4 was the one who gave me the idea for taking this particular Erin Condren pattern and writing on it like that. I have the feeling. And this is also right as my awesome washi started showing up that I remember ordering this from Etsy and being like, wow, washi tape, cool. To this day, my monthly spreads have had very little decorativeness on them and have mostly been just functional, but I have can, like this using washi tape to mark my custody has been the same pretty much in every since I started planning decoratively. I feel like this is right where I started to think about doing like a slightly more color coordinated situation. Like not completely color coordinated, but the colors are tending to lean towards more of the October color scheme. I used to leave my work hours up here because I wouldn't mark them on the vertical planner. I use these boxes for other things. I'm doing the hourly right now, but this is making me feel like I want to go back to the vertical for a little bit. No, no, no. Stop it, Cindy. Stop it. Yep. Here you can start to really see the color coordinating beginning. This is November. Lettering being used here and here. But yeah, you can start to see that I was trying to at least in some respect stick to sort of a color theme, even if I wasn't like hardcore about it. This is a picture perfect example of what happens when I go on vacation. I spend hardly any time doing it and then I just say screw it for the rest of the time that I'm on vacation. This was a page protector that I colored and used as like a checkbox. That's a cool idea. I should do that again. But this week you can see I'm starting to use lettering on the regular. Both. This is where you can start to see how my planning style that I have now begins to evolve a little bit color themed, like color coordinated, and I'm starting to use lettering. I remember doing this. Jeanette in Planners Gone Wild loves the vomit emoji. It's her favorite emoji. And so I drew that because I hate inventory prep. And then she loved it because it's her favorite emoji. And I'm pretty sure that drawing this emoji was the first real like moment where Kristen and I decided we were going to work together. <laughs> this still happens. Yep. 
really starting to color coordinate and letter. It's like you can see more. I could like count the squares and know that of the ones that have my lettering and the color coordinating. It seems to be like, and see here too, lots of lettering all around this spread. Oh, I love this color theme too. I still have that washi. I should do that again. This is Erin Condren launch. And I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to find in the next few pages here. Oh, this is my general assembly. I got really into planning out my time at GA with my church. Holy shit. And here is where I swapped over to my next planner. And I did not, it's true to form, I did not do much with the following months. I will say the thing that I appreciate about this is the year that I used this, this was the only one I used. After I bought the new one for this, that was when I started going down the rabbit hole of buying more planners. So this was the only one, this was my first, and the only one that I stuck to on the regular. I'd love to see your planner throwback, your, your planner throwback pictures or your planner throwback videos. So like I said, tag them planner throwback, whether it's a video or on Instagram. And let me know in the comments if you're doing it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you next time.